Hi everyone! So you all wanted a tutorial on how I make my edits on Funimate. Just a heads up, this is me style, therefore it might be different than what other people use. I also do use Funimate Pro so I don't know which effects are free and which effect you have to pay for. But anyway, on with the video. First things first, add in your clips of who you want to edit. Go to Add Media. In this case, I am doing and edit of Eddie and Steve. Next add your audio by pressing Extract. Now once you have your clips and your audio, add them all together. This is optional, but for my edit, I added a black photo at the beginning of my edit for the intro. Now, once you have all of your clips, click on the crop button and align your characters so they fit in the screen. Now, this next part is also optional, but if you have ever seen and edit, there is always a fast part in the beginning. Like this. So press speed and curve. So take the first dot and put it up to 5x speed. Take another dot and also put it up to 5x speed. Press the person with the N and priest highest quality of speed. Now do this for every clip. Now, line your clips up with the audio. This part might take a little bit of saving to photos but try to get it as close as possible to your audio. Now, we are going to add the fade in and fade out to our clips. Click on keyframe and transform. Scroll down and click opacity. Add the little diamond to the end of your hour of your clips and turn the opacity all the way down. Now, scroll a little bit before that first diamond and add another one. Turn this opacity all the way up. Now scroll only a little bit past the first diamond and put another diamond. It should look like this. Repeat this step for all of the clips. Now, once you are finished, we are going to add the graphs. Click on the line. For your fade out, make the graph look like this. We are going to save this graph as graph 1. Now, for the fade in, make the graph look like this. We are going to name this graph 2. It should look like this, repeat this for all of the fade out and fade in graphs. The edit should look something like this. Now it's time to do the blur. Go back to keyframe, click on add effect and go to blurs. You can do any blur you want. I usually do lens blur. At the start of all of your clips, change the settings to Iris scale 30 gamma 80. Continue with all of your clips.
reset the iris scale and turn it down to zero towards the end of each clip. Repeat. Now the graphs. For this one, we only want to use graph 2. Add this graph only at the beginning of your clips. Now we are going to do the exposure. Click exposure. Turn it up to 30 and put a keyframe at the start of every clip. Now turn down the exposure at the very end of the beginning of each keyframe. For this effect you don't need graphs. Now at last, we are going to do the filters. I am just going to show you what effects are used and the level for each effect. And finally, all you have to do is add your watermark. Click Element Library, and you can pick any font you want. Click Blend and go to Overlay. Done. Thank you so much for watching. I really hoped that this helped. Comment below what other tutorials that you would like to see. Well, see ya.